Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and we're here with Josh and Ginger Routh, who are the owners of Circus Caput. And uh, the circus is like right here. I mean, I, I'm like, we're, this is becoming a circus right here. Our set yeah. already. I can, I can feel it. I can sense it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. So, Josh. Oh my gosh, Josh yeah. is your is the name that most know you by. Yeah. All right, so, oh my gosh, Josh, tell us a little bit of the history of starting um, Circus Caput, because you, you've got a circus background. Yeah, I went to circus school in San Francisco, and when I came back to St. Louis, uh, I created a small circus, it was called Circus Caput. We did uh, benefits for a lot of nonprofits and stuff, and the people wanted us for a lot of private events. And the next thing you know, we were doing lots more private events and traveling all over. We've been everywhere from, from San Francisco now, all the way to Niagara Falls in New York, and all points in between doing shows, and. Uh, all sorts of fun stuff. So. That's great. So the cir circus school is something that lots of kids dream of. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like the ideal career, ideal plan. So yeah. how old were you when you decided that was your what you wanted to do? Uh, I was about uh, 21 when I went to circus school. I started out clowning and doing uh, balloon animals at nursing homes and hospitals when oh. I was a, a kid. Uh, when I was about 13 and so my mom thought it would keep me out of trouble getting me to go do it at volunteer at nursing homes and hospitals and yeah. it certainly didn't but that was okay. It, so, it did while you were there right? It, it did. I wasn't in trouble while I was there but <laughs> right. you know some of those some of those el elders in the uh, nursing homes and things well they can corrupt a young man let me tell you but <laughs> they're, they're pretty awesome so I still have a lot of passion for that kind of stuff and and so then uh, from there when I was about 15 I got an agent and started traveling around with carnivals and performing in those ways on, on weekends and in the summertime and then by the time it was about 21, I decided I was going to go to circus school. And uh, she and I had met on a TV commercial shoot where she needed a magician for that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we, we, I asked her to marry me. And, uh, at, the, at the commercial shoot? Yeah, well, well, close to that, yeah. Okay. And then I was like, but I'm going to circus school. And she's like, but wait. I was like, well, we'll be okay. <laughs> well, so, did you know she had circus skills when you asked her? No, no, okay, no. So she was later. an artist. She was mm -hmm. an artist. So, And that's what really informs our face painting now is a lot of her face painting and, and all of our face painters that work for us are all artists. And, and Ginger, with her arts aesthetic, really changed the shape of what we do at Circus Caput. Yeah. It really helped out a lot. And so. Ginger, so you, in the meantime, had another career in the video um, production world I did and and how did um, oh my gosh Josh <laughs> convince you to to give up that and join him full-time well I went to San Francisco with him while he was in circus school mm -hmm. and I would go hang out at the circus school sometimes and some of the clowns there befriended me and a really neat lady Peggy that worked there taught me face painting mm -hmm. so um, she gave me my first set of paint splattered overalls this is my third set Josh paint splattered this pair but that's sort of my trademark face painting outfit that I I learned from Peggy in the circus school and she started out by showing me little animal faces and I just kind of put my art skills to work um, expanding on that and I've been to a bunch of face painting conventions and yeah. classes and workshops since then. So about a year ago you you quit your career basically to join the family business. Well she was doing it part, part time mm -hmm. while she was doing a career and then she dove in full time and she's revolutionized the business as we have it. We've grown by about I would say 60, 70 percent ever since she came on full time. So where can uh, we in St. Louis find you all? Well, we do all variety of private events, corporate picnics, holiday events, birthday parties, and we do um, some public community events as well. We're at Clayton Farmers Market every Thursday night. We have at least two or three performers, activities for kids and adults, mm -hmm. face painting, balloons. Um, sometimes we have jugglers or stilt yeah. walkers at Clayton Farmers Market. Mm -hmm. And then um, coming up next month, we'll be, or later this month, we'll be at Soulard Art Fair. Yeah. Okay. Soulard Art Fair on September 20th and 21st, we'll have all kinds of um, jugglers, mimes, magicians, face painters. And people can hire you for birthday parties, for charity events, for We bring the circus events. to you. Yes. Yeah, we have a full circus <laughs> that we can perform at any well, event. We, we brought to you today. Yes, I know. Exactly. Like I said, it's like a circus right here at STL TV Live, and the circus yeah. is just beginning. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> the thing. More coming, you know, so. yeah. All right, so on that note, let's take a quick break. We're going to come back, and we're going to see some um, actual live um, balloon animals being made as oh. we... <laughs> they're going to be made live. They don't sure. actually live, but maybe they do. In your in your mind, they might. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're going to see some that's examples. A different story. Yeah, that's another whole segment. Uh, we're going to see some examples uh, j of Ginger's face painting. So, uh, coming up next, stay tuned for much more from Circus Caputa STL TV Live. Mm -hmm. 